Hey guys, it's me, Ella. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be preparing for fall. I have been so excited to make this video. I've been planning it for weeks. It was literally August when I thought of this, but I knew I had to wait until it was actually closer to fall. It's not technically fall yet, but it is the first chilly day of the season. Every single week has been like 80 degrees and now it's finally in the high 60s, which I just love. I love that weather where it's a little bit chilly, but not cold outside. And it's just like the perfect fall weather. Today is actually the first day I've been able to wear a sweater and not get too hot. So I'm very happy about that. So I guess I shouldn't make this intro too long because we have a lot of things planned for the day. So I think we should just get started. So don't mind my messy mirror, but here's my OOTD. It's very fall. I've got this like coffee colored sweatshirt on from Brandy Melville. It's so comfy. I highly recommend it. They have lots of colors. It's so soft and cozy. And then I'm wearing these baggy jeans with a hole in the knee and those are from Garage. And then I've got my little bit of jewelry on and I think I might throw on some rings too, just to spice up the outfit. But yeah, that's what we're working with today. So I just threw on some rings for some accessories. So this is what we're working with. I got this cute butterfly one. Don't mind my nails, they're really chipped, but I've got this butterfly ring on. And then on this hand, I have this little gem and then just like a gold band. So I thought it was cute. Now let's actually get started. Of course, the first thing that I have to do is get a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. I've been so obsessed. They only came out like a week ago and I've had like five. So I'm gonna get another one for the video. But after that, I really need to stop getting so many. I just can't help myself because they are so good. The whole way here, I was listening to my fall playlist. I'll have it linked down below. It's like eight hours long and I just love the vibes. I'm obsessed with fall if you can't tell. Like I need to calm down but I thought I would just leave it in the description box in case you guys were curious. It really is like perfectly curated music for fall, in my opinion, because it's songs I like. Hi, can I get a tall pumpkin spice ice latte with no whipped cream? Anything else? That's it. I have a name for the order. Ella? That's like 566, we'll see at the window. Thanks. That was the most unesthetic ordering clip I ever tried to make. That was a disaster. So here's my drink, isn't she cute? So fall aesthetic, oh my God. Posing for the thumbnail. Taste test. Mm, so good. I'm now ready to get prepared for fall. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go into Barnes & Noble because there is one right nearby which is so convenient and I'm just going to go look for some books, some nice cozy reads for fall, maybe some books that just give me some fall vibes. I've been into reading lately, it's really entertaining me especially with school starting and I have like random free time that I don't know what to do with so I'll just crack open a book. It's pretty nice especially on like a chilly day, wrap up in some blankets and then just read a book. So we're going to go see what we can find. Okay, so that trip was successful, but I'm not gonna show you guys what I got till later in the video when I do my haul. So just gonna leave that suspense going there. But another fall essential is candles. So I need to go buy some candles. I'm gonna go head over to Bath and Body Works and cross my fingers that there's a sale because if there's not, the candles are way too expensive. But I love how they smell. I have a few at home, but of course I'm gonna get some new ones. So 
I'm actually going to make one more stop before I head home and that is the thrift store. I'm just gonna kind of look around, maybe look at the sweaters, just the pants, I don't know, random stuff, see what they got. And of course, I'll let you know if they got anything good. So let's head on inside. Oh my god, I found the cutest sweater and I'm not gonna lie. I hate this place. It's $12.99. Okay, it looks ugly, but it's not. It's cute. Have you seen the fall vibes? It's got elbow patches. This is actually insane, though. I just found a Princess Polly skirt. Where am I? And it's actually cute. And a Brandy Melville skirt. This looks like it's too small for me, though. But still. Where, where am I? This is not the thrift store. Okay, but they're all like $8.99. That's insanity. And this is why I don't come to this place. I wanted to come here because like, I don't come here that often and I want to see what's up. What's up is the prices. They're so high. So this is really disheartening. I don't know what to do. So I might've gotten a little bit carried away and spent more time in there than I was planning on, but I did pick up a few cute pieces. And I'm excited to show you guys. So when I go home, I'm gonna show you guys a haul of everything that I got this whole day. So get excited, because you'll see that in three, two, one. All right, it's haul time. I'm so excited. I'm using artificial lighting because it's super cloudy outside. So sorry if it looks a little bit weird, but that's not gonna stop me from giving you guys a haul because I got a lot of stuff. And I'm sure you guys are curious to know what I got. So we'll go in order of what you saw. So starting at Barnes and Noble, the first book I got is The Final Gambit and it's the third and final book in the Inheritance Game series, which I really enjoyed that series. I read it like six months ago, the first two books. So I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot what happened at the end, but I could not miss the last book of the series. And look how beautiful the covers are. They only had hardbacks because it's a new release and that's not really my favorite, but I had to get it because look how beautiful it is. I love the covers of these books. These are really fun books. I recommend reading them. They're like YA, they're not that serious. They're a bit of a mystery and like a puzzle. So that's always fun. The next book I got is called The Turnout and this is more of a personal choice because it's about a ballet studio putting on the Nutcracker, but then there's a dark twist in there somewhere. So I guess it's like marketed as a thriller. So we'll see how thrilling it is, but it's also about ballet. So that kind of struck my interest. I thought it could be unique. So I'm going to be reading this one and I'll probably read this like last out of the three so I can read it during Nutcracker season just for the vibes of that last book i got is pretty thick honestly and it looks like it's gonna be a little bit more challenging for me because i don't really read adult books i like to read ya because they're easy and fun but this one's a little bit more serious it's called the secret history and it's like dark academia vibes so that's amazing for fall i'm gonna read this once i finish the final gambit but it's got a lot of words, it's almost 600 pages, so this will take me a long time, not gonna lie. I'm not 100% sure what the storyline's about, but it does sound intriguing, like reading the back, so I'm excited about this. And they all kind of match, like with their covers. Moving on from there, I'll show you what I got at Bath & Body Works. I got two candles because they were having a sale $10 off the three wick candles. So I got two of those. This is the first one that I got. So cute, I love the fall packaging. And it's autumn chai, like a chai tea latte. I like the sweet smelling candles, but they aren't too strong, so they're not gonna be so crazy. And then this is the second one I got. It's called white pumpkin. And this kind of smells like pumpkin donuts. Like it kind of, it smells really sweet. I don't know what a white pumpkin smells like. I think they just kind of gave it a random name but it smells like pumpkin and sugar. So perfect for fall. And plus they have cute packaging. Yeah, I'm gonna add these to my collection. I have three other fall Bath and Body Works candles already, but you can't have too many. And then lastly, the thrift haul, which you're probably most excited about. 
I'm not going to try them on because I just bought them and I haven't washed them yet, so sorry about that. First up is the orange sweater. I decided to buy it. And I know this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea because it is quite strange, but the green and the orange combo is like classic fall colors. And I think it's so fun. It looks like a pumpkin. And then I thought the elbow patches were like a fun detail. It's by the brand Talbots, which they have nice quality clothes. I always buy them from the thrift. And it's a nice zip up and I feel like I don't own enough zip ups. So this will be a good piece. I can layer with it or just wear it on its own. Next, I got this brown corduroy skirt. It's actually from Princess Polly, which is really nice. So I know it's gonna fit me good. I really like the pleated bottom, like how it's like, like straight and then has little frilly pleated section at the bottom. That was really confusing to describe. And I could wear these together. And I can also wear it with the next thing I got, which would be a really cute outfit. So I got this long sleeve shirt. I know it's a wild pattern, but look at the colors. They are the perfect fall colors, magenta, orange, brown, green. I love this color scheme. They're some of my favorite colors. And it's kind of like a floral pattern, kind of just like random designs. And it's got a slight v-neck, but not like a deep one, which is really nice. And this is from Christopher and Banks. So basically I bought two old lady brands, but I really like those brands. They always end up buying them at the thrift. This will look so cute with this skirt. I can just see it already. And I'm excited to style this. I feel like it's the perfect fall shirt. So that was everything that I bought today, but this video is not over, so don't click off yet. The last thing I wanted to share with you guys was my fall bucket list and mood board. So if you've seen my preparing for summer video, you know what I'm talking about, but every season I like to make a little bit of a mood board and a bucket list just to kind of make the season more fun give me ideas on stuff to do and just create a vibe for what I want my season to be like. So I made this little collage. It's not very fancy. I just went on Pinterest and printed out some photos and taped them to this piece of paper. So this is what we got going on. This is like a cute little bookstore. This girl's in a pile of leaves, some coffee, more coffee, Gilmore Girls, Charlie Brown. This is from Halloween Town, but it's really cute looking. This girl's at a bookstore and this is Red Taylor's version. And I love like the moody aesthetic, like it looks so cute. And then on the back, I have my fall bucket list. So I thought I would read off the ideas to you guys. That way you guys know things that you can do this fall and kind of give you some activities that you can do when you're bored. So the first thing I have on here is go to coffee shops go alone or go with your friends, make it a little bit of a date or, you know, just go by yourself. Next is to go book shopping. It's fun to go to a bookstore like Barnes and Noble, that's really big. And then just look at all the stuff they have. It can be very time consuming too. You don't even have to buy the books. You can just go and look at them for fun. Next, I have a go to a museum, which is a little bit more adventurous than those. But if you have a museum by you or you have like a free day off, you can go to a museum. It'll be really fun. I don't know, it feels kind of like those dark academia, probably more light academia vibes, if you know what I'm talking about. But it's also fun because it's inside and fall is pretty chilly. So it's a good indoor activity, maybe for a rainy day or like a cold day. Next, I have go thrifting. This can take hours and hours out of your day and it's just so fun to sit through the racks of clothes and find stuff that you like and then you get unique clothes and you guys know what thrifting is. I make billions of videos about it, but it's a really fun way to pass your time. Next is to go to a pumpkin patch because of course you gotta go to the pumpkin patch for fall and then you can pick your pumpkin, you can decorate it, paint it, make jack-o'-lanterns or just kind of go there for fun. Some of them have like hay rides and activities you can do. And then the next one is kind of similar, but it's to go to a corn maze. Some places have both, but other places is separate. I know where I live, there's a really cool corn maze that's huge and it's so fun and they have other activities there as well. So I really wanna go there this fall. They have the best activities. Next is completely different and that's going out for brunch. I know this doesn't have anything to do with fall specifically, but it just seems like something fun that you can do with your friends. 
Maybe they have pumpkin pancakes that you can have or you can just get regular food. Next is to watch fall movies. Oh, so I'll put on the screen my fall movie watch list right here. So this can either be like Halloween movies, scary movies, or movies that just kind of give you that cozy fall feeling, especially like if they take place during fall. And it could be even more fun if you build up a fort with like chairs and blankets and then watch the movie in the fort like you're a little kid. That would be so fun. Next is to go candle shopping, which you saw me do today. It's not the most time consuming activity, but going to Bath and Body Works and just smelling all the candles is so fun. You're gonna get a headache at the end, but it'll be worth it. Next is to go to football games, especially if you're in high school. This is super easy to do. Just go on Friday nights to the football games. I think it's super fun. It's a good atmosphere. Everyone's having a good time. Next is to do some baking, make some cupcakes, muffins, cookies, like any of those treats. And it's even more fun if you make them pumpkin themed or just baking in general can be really fun. Next is to go Black Friday shopping, which is a lot later in the fall in November, but it's still fall. So I just put that on there because I am already looking forward to it. I go Black Friday shopping every year. It's so fun. And then the last thing I have on there is to go to a farmer's market. And I don't know if I'm gonna do this, but I just thought it would be a fun thing to put down there. So that is everything on my list. Here, I'll take a picture of it and you guys can screenshot it. And then if you want, you can screenshot this too. I don't know if you would want to, but you should definitely make your own of these or if you're not really into arts and crafts, you can just make a fall Pinterest board because I also have one of those that I like to add on to throughout the whole season and it's just so fun. So this looks like this is the end of my night. I'm just gonna finish out the night watching some Gilmore Girls and I already lit my new candle and it smells amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun for me to make. So I hope you guys really liked it. If you did, make sure you leave a heart emoji in the comments and if I see it, I will heart it. And make sure you also like this video and subscribe down below. And that's it for today. I'll see you in another video. Bye!